And this pedophile caught in a local library downloading child porn just feet from little kids. A terrifying thought for any parent. So it had us asking, how does this happen in the library? Tenders reporter Emily Thode is live in National City. And Emily, you talked with two fathers who've seen this guy before. Yeah, they do recognize him from just around town. So this guy came in the library and he was carrying a backpack. Police say inside that backpack he had computer cards, at least one, that also had child porn on it. I'm just going to close my eyes. Friends, Jaime Ulloa and Jonathan Vargas keep a close eye on their little girls on the playground. Next to the National City Library. The library, you would never expect that. Mm -hmm. Police say 37 year old Julio Martinez, a registered sex offender, was using Dropbox to download child pornography on, of all places, a library computer. It's gross. How could you, no. how could you do that to a kid? It happened Saturday. Library staff noticed they called police. Police say they found Martinez with more than 100 pornography videos, all exploiting children. They say Martinez even downloaded child porn into the library computer itself. Cops took it as evidence. Yeah, I do. It's a little weird, I know. I showed Jaime and Jonathan this photo of Martinez from the Megan's Law website. He's been convicted for having child porn in the past. I think he's been around. Martinez, a transient in violation. I just seen him walking around with a backpack. Police say Martinez admitted to trading child porn with other people. Now we got to be more aware of where we take our daughters. And there were filters on those computers, but somehow a city spokeswoman tells me he bypassed those filters. She says on occasion that does happen. Well, now he's sitting in jail, $50,000 bail. He's facing five felonies. I'm live in National City, Emily Thode, 10 News.